I can never forgive you for what you've done. Hi, Gohan is the most overpowered character in Dragon Ball Daima. After I read Akira Toriyama's message regarding the upcoming web anime Daima, it really got me thinking. What about Gohan? Where is Gohan? Because on his message, Akira Toriyama states that Goku will resort to using his power pole to compensate for his small size, which means that there is a huge chance that everyone's power has been nerfed to the state of when they were smaller. So, guess who is back? Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I don't think some of y'all understand how overpowered this kid was compared to Son Goku. Though, I will admit, Kid Goku's fight against the Demon King Piccolo was pretty insane. But compared to Saiyans and Space Lizards, DKP is pretty weak. Unfortunately, if y'all took a closer look at the Dragon Ball Daima trailer, Gohan was nowhere to be found. Could it be that he is too powerful to keep in the series? I don't know. But my theory is that they might make up some excuse to keep Gohan out of this Daima anime. Hey, this one might hurt some of y'all Kid Goku fans, but it is true. Kid Gohan was way more powerful than Kid Goku. Let's take a quick look at sometimes Gohan's power exploded. Just like my dreams if y'all don't subscribe. As a kid, Gohan was reaching power levels of 1370, which according to my boy Reddit should be impossible for a sane kid, which he soon learned the hard way about Gohan's hidden potential. This was also another very memorable moment which is when Gohan's power level reached a high number of 2700 in his battle against the Saiyan Nepa. Whenever this kid got angry, you never knew what his next move is. And at around this age, Goku was struggling with a lot of weak opponents and being punched through walls by a boy Yamcha. Even Frieza himself stated that in his second form, his power was easily over 1 million. And that is not the only form that this boy has managed to one-up. Yes, I am sure by now most of y'all already get my point, but we have to talk about one last time. This boy exceeded our expectations, which was in the Cell games. This was around the time Goku gave Cell a sense of being, and most of y'all started calling him a bad father. Hey Cell! I think otherwise. He believed in his son, man. I mean, do y'all remember the time Goku defied the laws of death and saved his son from Bojack? That was a loving father thing to do from Goku. So yeah, back to the topic at hand. The moment when Gohan went Super Saiyan 2 and exceeded everyone's expectations. Our boy Vegeta could not even fathom this at all. This moment was peak Dragon Ball Z and has made many, including myself, fall in love with the franchise. We basically witnessed Gohan one-shotting every single one of the Cell Juniors that neither Z Fighter could handle and our eyes were later on blessed with one of the greatest beam clashes of all time between Cell and Gohan. Not gonna lie, Vegeta was the MVP of that fight. Then again, he was the reason they were all in that mess in the first place. And my boy Krillin. I kinda respect what Krillin did, but it's also kinda his fault. So yeah, my overall point is that Gohan is going to be extremely powerful in Daima. And if for some reason they decide to keep him in the series, I am telling you guys, we are not ready for this. With confirmation from the executive producer of Dragon Ball that it will continue for the next decade. I hope we can grow and become a nice community here on the channel someday, man. Hi, hey, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because it really helps me out to keep pumping more videos like these for you guys. This has been MT Hybrid. I make Dragon Ball content. And yeah, guys, make sure you turn on those notifications to not miss out on any other future content. Alright, I'll see y'all in the next one.